The news media are failing America with their coverage of the 2024 election. Here are three resolutions journalists need to adopt. Number one, stop reporting on President Biden's age without reporting on Trump's. Biden is old, but so is Trump. They're just three years apart. If Trump wins the presidency, he will be the oldest person ever elected to the White House. But Trump is not facing nearly the same scrutiny for his age. Yet he should be, especially when it comes to his mental competence. Biden is sane. He's getting major bills passed. He's negotiating with world leaders. But Trump, who has a family history of dementia, is increasingly incoherent and unhinged. His speeches keep veering into rants. Whales being killed by windmills? Shooting shoplifters? Fantasies that he won all 50 states? We won, in the last time, 50 states. Think of it, 50 states. We won every state. He's confused Presidents Biden and Obama so many times that he's had to put out a statement claiming it was intentional. With Obama, we won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Why isn't there more reporting on Trump's apparent mental decline? Number two, stop confusing being balanced with being honest. Every time the media reports on another move by Trump and Republicans toward neo-fascism, it tries to balance its coverage by pointing out some fault in the Democratic Party. Obviously, like any party, Democrats do have flaws and the media should report on them, but it is simply false to pretend that both sides are equally to blame for dysfunction in Washington. There's just one political party that refuses to accept elections, science, the rule of law, or the premise that governing requires negotiation and compromise. It's the same party that has repeatedly brought America to the brink of financial default and government shutdown and whose presidential frontrunner is facing 91 felony charges, including criminal conspiracy to overturn an election. Blaming both sides for this chaos plays into Trump and his allies' goal of wanting Americans to believe the nation has become ungovernable and needs an authoritarian strongman. Which brings me to the last resolution. Number three, stop normalizing fascism. When Trump labeled his opponents as vermin to root out, it didn't even make the front page of the New York Times or Washington Post. His call to suspend the Constitution, his suggestion that General Milley should be executed, and his plans to round up millions of immigrants and throw them in mass detention camps have all been treated like ordinary bumps on the campaign trail. None of this is ordinary. Now, all three of these failures in covering this election stem from a twisted interpretation of what it means to be impartial. Good journalists should not seek balance between truth and lies. They should be unambiguously on the side of the truth. And in covering democracy versus fascism, good journalists must not normalize fascism. They have a responsibility to expose how far it is from the bedrock values of America. They should be wholly, unequivocally, and resolutely on the side of democracy.